I'm on the bus because I want to see this uh, country change the way it thinks about guns. I'm on this bus because um, I live in Connecticut. I'm a mother. And I want to make this a safer place for my children. There's six of my neighbors that I pass every day on my way to work who were victims. And I don't want them to have died in vain. I'm on this bus in honor of the 26 lives that were lost. The people from our community and the members of Newtown Action Alliance, we felt that it was really important to come down to Washington, D.C., uh, commemorating the six-month anniversary of the most horrific day that's ever faced Newtown and our country. Uh, it's been six months and there has been no federal action taken here on Capitol Hill. And we wanted to come down and share our stories, the, the, the pain and grief that we are facing, and our you know, desire to create some positive changes from such horrific event that happened in our town. We needed to do something for the six month anniversary. Um, we wanted to make sure that on the actual day that we're home and reflect and be with our community, but we thought it was really important to come down to Washington DC to you know, try to influence our Congress to take action. And at that time, we decided that we need to do something visual and uh, why not create a human ribbon of remembrance you know, to commemorate and, you know, the six month and to remember and honor the 26 people, the lovely people, the innocent people that lost their lives on December 14th. Today, by reading the names of 5,000 victims of gun violence since the Newtown tragedy, by forming a human ribbon of remembrance, these families and their supporters are sending a clear message. Let's honor the members of every victim by ensuring that no other family is forced to endure such a terrible tragedy. It is really a humbling experience to be here with some of the families of Newtown.